So I know a lot of people are really, really frustrated with how, while looking really nice as vectored graphics, grease pencil objects cannot receive shadows or cast shadows as if they were, you know, a textured PNG. So what I've done here is I have a render layer, a view layer that is just the artwork, as a grease pencil and it's going to go and render all of these frames as transparent PNGs and then immediately go to my second view layer which references the folder of the files I just rendered out and makes them into a textured plane mesh with those PNGs which will receive this shadow of the moving cube and cast a shadow and have proper depth of field. So I go back to this layer here just to show you, like without it, this is what it would look like. It's not casting a shadow. It's not receiving the shadow of the cube. And you see the edges of the, the out of focus thing here. It just doesn't look right. Like you can, you know, change the focus distance. Look at that. It, it just doesn't work. So. I'm going to hit Control F12, and what it's doing right now is rendering everything out to this file output folder, rendering all the frames of Farah as, as with a see-through background, as if it was a PNG sequence, while simultaneously importing that sequence. See, I didn't even have to do anything else. And now it's an actual PNG sequence that casts a shadow, receives a shadow, and look at that depth of field working exactly the way that it should. With one keystroke rendering the sequence, it does this on the fly because this is no longer a grease pencil object. It is now a textured image sequence here. As you can see, this image sequence on the shader of this plane references the output from this first view layer. And the final render referencing these in that shader's material or that material's shader, gets sent to the final composite. Yeah, if anybody wants to see how this works, I've got the file down there. So, yeah, just figured this out last night. We need a modifier for our grease pencils that turns them into a textured PNG thing on the fly because I think that will be a lot easier than trying to rework grease pencil to reflect light and cast shadows, in my opinion. But there you go.